Hey everybody, what's good? Today I want to show you guys how to make shapes react to sound in a very simple way and how to practically make use of that. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, what's good? Dave here. Today we're going to go through how to make an audiogram and how easy it is in After Effects. And trust me, After Effects scares me as well. But we're gonna do this together. It's like literally two or three clicks. It's super easy. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Thanks to those guys. And about that a bit later. Now, why do you use audiograms? Audiograms just add that visual element to sound. Sometimes you'll only have audio to work with for documentary, client work, podcasting. And audiograms are a simple solution to make the content more engaging. So let's go into After Effects and I'll show you guys how to do it. So we're in After Effects. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a new composition. So Command N. Let's go for an HD aspect ratio. Next, what you want to do is right click new and we're going to add a solid with the same dimensions. doesn't really matter. And that's going to fill the whole thing. Next, what you want to do is go into the effects and look for audio spectrum and drag that straight onto your solid. So as you see here to the left, we've got loads of settings here, frequency bands, start and end to frequency. And right here, we've got the source. The source is going to have to be some kind of audio file, but it's not showing up because it's not in our sequence. I'm going to drag a conversation me and Josh had. So I'm just going to drag two audio files in there. And these audio files, what I've done is if I come into Premiere and show you really quick, me and Josh had a conversation on Zoom. I recorded the mics, treated them and chopped them up. And as you can see right here, I've got myself up top and then Josh right here. I've simply just sold that, I exported my audio and then sold Josh's and exported Josh's audio. So we've got one audio per person. I'll show you why we'll do that. But this is what I've got. And say I want this dark gray solid here with these settings just to react to my voice. I'm going to go up here to the audio layer. And as a source, I'm going to put my voice. And right here, as I'm talking, you can see it reacting. Now, what I like to do is just expand the waveform so I can see what the waveform looks like and then drag this onto kind of a loud bit. Now I'm going to select my dark gray solid and go through some of these settings. Start frequency. Let's see where it looks a bit more vibrant starting into frequency frequency bands this is how many frequency bands we've got so how many lines really you've got in there maximum height is how high the audiogram is gonna go as soon as it hears sound audio duration and audio offset those have to do with when the sound comes in and when it reacts so i think i'll just keep it to default thickness softness is how much it glows so i like it around there and these are the colors so you got an inside color and a outside color. Let's go with white. I'll just keep it all white. And then that's the hue, how you blend those two colors. And then right here, you've got a few display options. So digital is what we've got right now. Analog lines look a bit like that. And then analog dots look a bit like that. So you got a few options there. I think I'm going to stick with digital and then side A and B basically has the top half, bottom half or both sides. So I'm just going to keep both sides and see what that looks like for me super easy to do and then obviously you can click on the shape and resize that and do whatever you want with it and while we're talking about visualizers and audiograms and Vato elements that are sponsoring this video have an amazing library of all that kind of stuff they've got over a million assets that you can use for your videos graphics text templates stock videos plus visualizer templates you just pretty much load these up add your photos and audio and you got content for your clients social media you name it super easy forget about going to youtube and downloading some royalty free dodgy green screen asset honestly and Vato elements for 16 dollars 50 cents it'll just save you so much time clients are happy you meet your deadlines to me it's a no-brainer i use it all the time check it out links in the description let's get back to the video so let's spice things up. Let's make it a bit more interesting. Say you're doing a documentary or some kind of social media content and you've only got audio to work with. You've got a phone call and you want to make it a bit more interesting, not just the audio. Let's go in here and I've got a conversation me and Josh had. I'm going to start from here. I've got the two audio files and I've got one dark solid. I need another dark solid. But first, what I'm going to do is because I've kind of got in my mind what I want to do. I'm going to add an effect called polar coordinates and I'm going to drag that straight onto my solid. That's gonna start folding my shape up. So let's just make it a circle. So we've got a circle reacting to the audio. We're just gonna resize that. So I'm grabbing one of the corners and then shift to just not change the width or the height of that. Move it around. Now I need two photos. So I'm gonna go in and take two photos, one of me and one for Josh. I'm gonna click on my headshot pick and then I'm gonna take the ellipse tool and just make a circle. 
I like that. That looks good. I'm going to resize that. And then I'll load in Josh's picture. And I'm simply going to go in and just copy some of these settings. Copy the mask over and then make sure they're the same size. Also, I'm going to take this picture and align it. And if you go down to your align, I'm just going to make sure they're all in the middle. I'm going to make a copy of that dark gray solid. So I'm just going to control C and control V. And on the second solid, obviously, I need to move it so it's just behind Josh. But each one of these is going to react to different audio. So I'm going to make the first one I'm going to go up to my effects control, make that react to my audio. And then the second one, I'm going to make react to Josh's audio. When you've got like maybe 300 people and you just scroll down, you realize how many people are 300 people. Yeah, right. People forget that. It's easy to dehumanize the fact that each of those people are specific people because you're just looking at numbers. And a lot of the time it can be easy to get lost in like, oh, I want this video to get a lot of numbers. Maybe yeah, I put yeah. a lot of work into it. So I want this to translate to a lot of numbers when you should be thinking, OK, why am I doing this? Am I doing this for numbers or to help people? Each person is a specific person with their own story. And just like that, you've got a bit more of a visual of what a conversation would look like if you just had audio. That was the video, guys. I hope you find that useful. Like and subscribe. That always helps the channel. If you got any questions at all, drop them in the comments. All the relevant links are in the description. And if you want to say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is the handle I use on Instagram. Come and say hi. Till next time. Peace.